If you're looking to create a workbook in Canva, it's very easy to do, and we'll walk you through that using one of our workbook templates as an example from our course creation template packs. And I'll also show you real quickly how to create one from scratch if you'd like. I'm Alice Seba from eKit Hub, and let's get started. So we'll come back to our template, workbook template here, and we will, I said I'd show you quickly from scratch how to create one. So you would go to your main page and then say create a design. Now, if you type in worksheet, it does give you an option of the sizes here and but when you go to search for any like template pages they tend to be more for children's education so if you don't want that's not your topic you might want to actually go for a journal and the reason we choose like the top like the type of document we're making is because if you don't and you just choose an eight and a half by eleven page when you go search designs you will have a little more trouble finding what you want because I I actually don't know why because uh, if the size is the same you would think you should be able to search for everything but Canva seems to kind of limit that so we could like see if our topic self-awareness worksheet there are maybe some that have some things filled in or you could look for you know fill in the blanks worksheet or you could choose different types of actual sheets you want. Or you can work with our template. And let's go back to that. And this part of the tutorial will be useful whether you, you know, use our templates or not. It'll give you lots of, you know, information on how to edit and some neat little tricks that you might find helpful. So when you do have a template open, you can obviously scroll through. You can look here. This is the grid view, which is always very useful because you can see everything at a glance. You can drag and drop things around. You have to wait till the line is there and then it'll move. You can delete things, you know, multiple pages at once. It's really easy to work with. So as you see, this is a 19 page workbook with the uh, main slide there as well. And uh, what we'll do is go back and I'll show you, like you can see the colors have been changed to match the cover. And you can change all of that yourself as well if you want to do something a little different. So since we took note of the color, let's start there by talking about the colors. In our design, we kept it fairly simple in that the colors in it match the cover, maybe in some of our templates, because we have a bunch on a bunch of life skills, uh, they might be a little bit different. And what you would do is uh, select the element, but there will be no more than two different colors is what I'm trying to say, the more colorful elements of it. So when you want to change it, this might seem a little, feel a little bit dark. So you might want to go in here. You can completely change the color. Or if you go here, you can also work to maybe change it. So it's perhaps just a little bit lighter. Um, and if you want it to change throughout there, you can click change all and then the whole document will have a slightly different color in this case it will change the color here but we could go back to the color that we wanted there and it will not change the others because we did not select change all in our template you can see we have a variety of different types of pages you can choose from and customize including like an instruction sheet um, we did put this out of order. The table of contents was in the video we were just doing. Uh, the table of contents, which you can update as you'd like, a module page, about me page, check different types of checklists, to-do lists, uh, quizzes, fill in the blanks, um, and all different kinds of things. In the next video, actually, we're going to talk about creating a really good workbook to go with a course or just a workbook on its own. So maybe you'd like to add different types of pages. You certainly can. All you do is find what you want, go to the page you want and where you want it to go next. You go add page, it'll put a page below it. Um, you could also choose duplicate from, 
from here if you want, which is this one. Uh, so it makes another blank page. You can add all the elements you want. You know, you can do different shapes. So if you want to do a circle, um, I find that the shapes will show up here. So if you say circle, um, then you have a shape that is easy to move. You can actually turn it into an oval. It can be moved all over the place. If you simply search for circle and then you go into the graphics, you actually, those ones aren't always as editable. So you, it's better to go with the, the actual shapes that uh, Canva has because you, and you could change the colors, you can change the color would change here, the, the border style, you can add a border, which is a different color. You can make the, you know, so you could add a border that is black and you could make the inside hollow, right? Or hollow, I don't think it's hollow, it's transparent. <laughs> so the, that, those are possibilities. You can also search through the designs. So we want like, say we wanna do a four quadrant worksheet. So uh, like this is what I'm thinking of. You can, you can input whatever you'd like and then you can also change, you know, the colors in the way I said, you can match them into, match it with this by you know using the change chain like to change it if it has more than one color here say we want it to go with our light green we created and there is no other color like that but if if the color had appeared more than once on this page it would prompt you to change it all and then you don't have to uh, let's talk about fonts now so we do have certain fonts in this. If you want to know what the title of this one is, it's Glacial Indifference. So maybe we'd want to update this one to there, right? And if this font had appeared in more than one spot on this page, we could have, there would have, a change all would have also appeared. So then you can kind of start to match it with everything. If you want to like, so our, our worksheet is fairly, simple in colors, you could also choose to, if you want to make this match, you could go select one element and then you go to position and then you go to layers and you'll see all these different elements. And let's say we just wanted to keep it simple. We could select as many as we want uh, and we could choose that light color and we've updated that actually that's a slightly different color but that's okay you'll forgive me for <laughs> just getting it done for this this example but as you can see there's lots of options for you to update and kind of incorporate maybe you want to delete these elements too sometimes I find people just add a lot I mean it's, it's a personal choice right remove the elements that you don't want we have more of a plain, more professional look here, or maybe you liked some of those elements, you could add them onto the other pages. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing before we kind of move on to creating a workbook that is really useful to your customers because things can look as, as pretty as you want, right? But what you want is your customers to really get some value in and learn what you're trying to teach them or accomplish the goal you're trying to help them accomplish. So you can, um, if you want to, like just talking about moving things around and editing these pages. So you can always select any item, right? And I showed you how to go into the layers so you could select more than one. Uh, but you can also, if you wanna just move things or delete all them, you drag your mouse over top. So I could delete that if I wanted to, or I could move it and move, you know, move all these other elements how I'd like. Maybe I'd also like to create more boxes. Um, and so what I would do is I've made this new box I can, you know, want to make sure it's the exact, all the boxes are exact same size. I would duplicate them. And then now they're not centered, so I can select all that. I can move that. And then I want to make more rows, right? So I'm going to move that up. And then you can duplicate because you've selected all three and then you can move it here. So it's really quite easy. Drag and drop, move things around and customize it exactly how you want.
I hope you found that useful uh, overview on creating a workbook, working with templates and Canva and stuff. If you are, would like to work with our templates, we have a bunch and a variety of life skills topics that you can fully customize to your very specific topic. The packages also do come with um, a slideshow and a journal to match so that you know a lot of your work is done for you you can just input your awesome information work with chat gpt to come with up ideas on our, our youtube channel you'll find videos with chat gpt tips for using them to create your content and now let's move on to the you know creating a really good workbook experience for your customers